All right, folks, special delivery. I'm gonna do a Timu haul. I'm so excited. Before I get into the haul, I wanted to get into this. Okay, anybody who's looking for a perfect cookie to have with a hot cup of coffee or a hot cup of tea or even a glass of milk, these cookies are absolutely incredible. That's the brand. That's what the cookies look like. They taste incredible and they're so addictive. And I wanted to share this because when I bought it, when I was eating it, I was thinking, okay, Helen, you would love this. Helen from Way to Go and Caroline from Caroline Canadian Gal. I could just picture especially both of you enjoying this beautiful butter cookie. It's It tastes homemade even though it's not. This is what it looks like and I hope you ladies find it at your store and give it a try because it's incredible. Also, before I get into the haul, I wanted to show you, I have a stand now for the gingerbread house. Maybe I showed you guys this already, I'm not sure. But see, it's just up off the counter just enough so that when I disinfect my counter, it's not in the way. I love it. I love it. I'm so happy. I feel like I need to do a Valentine's home tour is what I need to do. But I'm so behind with decorating. I'm not even finished. I'm going to leave it up for quite a while. I love the pink. I love the sweets. I love everything about it. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying seeing it because I enjoy looking at it every night. So this came when I did my unboxing. You guys seen, I noticed this right away. This is a defect. <laughs> the snowman is supposed to be like right up here. It even shows it on the box. But anyway, just must have been when they were making it. It was a defect, but that's okay. I don't mind things like that. Even if things are broken, if I can repair it, I'm okay with it. So my little cupcake and my flowers and this puppy. I'm not sure if that's at the dollar store this year or not, but that's where I got him a couple of years ago. My little pink cupcake. So cute. All right, let's get over to that Timu haul. What are you doing, sweetie? She's sitting on my blanket and her doggy blanket. She sucks on that thing. What? What, baby girl? Look at her licking her lips. What, you want a piece of fish? You want your fish? Okay, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, here's the other one. You want fish too, Coco? Okay, come get your fish. Come get your fish, girls. All right, I'm going to show you guys. This is something that they absolutely go nuts for. It's fish skin. It's one of the healthiest dog treats that's good for them healthy fat look at her look at her she wants it so bad it's good for their teeth this is what it looks like here you go oh there she goes and she'll try to steal cocos as well look at that there you go there you go coco there you go now she tries to hey puppy don't you dare Oh, this is such an awesome treat for your dogs. When I find more, I'll definitely get another bag. It lasts a really long time, too. But yeah, it's codfish skin, and it's 100% natural, high protein, low fat. So, great treat for your dogs. They both have their fish skins. They're sitting on the love seat here. They'll take their time and they'll enjoy that, but it's nice and salty and it's really, really good fat, good protein for them. So yeah, that's a great dog treat that they both love. All right, let's get the flash on. So whatever is in these bags, your guess is as good as mine. I honestly forget what's in them, but let's have a look and see. What is this? What is this? This is my towel. I was like, what is it? It's the cutest. I don't like the fabric. Ew, ew, ew. It's that microfiber, which never dries anything. This is darling. It looks so pretty. So this is a donut towel. Look it. So I'm going to wash it and see if it will absorb when I use it. To dry. It might. It might. Maybe it just needs to be washed. It's absolutely darling. 
but I am going to wash it and then I'll go from there to see if I can keep it or not. Because if it doesn't pick up the moisture, like the water from my body after a shower, I'm not going to use it. So, But look at that. Isn't that awesome? This is beautiful. And it was from Timu. They have all kinds of pretty stuff. So I'm going to throw it on the floor because it needs to be washed. Now, look at I bought these feathers because I want to do a gift box in the mail for a girlfriend of mine as a surprise. Um, it's not going to be for a long time, like maybe this summer or Christmas, I don't know yet. But I bought these feathers to put in the box as like, instead of sprinkles to get all over the floor, at least feathers are bigger. And they're pastel feathers. How cute is that, right? Just to add that level of cuteness and kind of bump up the gift a little bit more. Because it makes you feel special when you see like pretty things in the bag. To me, that's pretty. Okay, what is this? If I can't get pink, the next best color for me is beige. Yes. Look at This is my sweetheart. There's a defect right here. Look. See, I pick up defects right away. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's actually like a rip. Now, this is iron on. This was ironed on. That's not a defect, but this is a defect. Anyway, this is so darling and it's beige. So there was pink, but it was, it really wasn't my kind of pink. It was like poopy pink and I don't like poopy pink. So like I said, I wish I would have got the blue. They had this in a blue, but I didn't know it till after I ordered this, but this is darling. I can't wait to wash that and get to wear it, but there is a defect in it now. Oh, these, I think it's 50 different gingerbread stickers. The one up front is dark colored, but a lot of them is like the pink pastels. So maybe I'll go through this in a separate video. Now, what is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So here's the second pack of feathers. I bought two packs and I got another pack of stickers. What kind of stickers are these? I'll go through the stickers on a whole separate video. Um, this... I got this for me and Ellie because we're going to have a girl spa day. I'll open mine. She doesn't know I got this, but she'll watch the video because I'm putting it in her Valentine's box. But this goes in the freezer and these gel packets freeze over. They get really nice and cold. And then you put it on your face, okay? And look at it like goes on your, your head. You're not stuck. But the thing is, you know how like when you're doing a spa treatment and you put cucumber on your eyes, this does your whole face. So it gives that cooling effect and just makes you feel extra special. And honestly, they had it in different colors. I got the pink, but they had purple. I think they had black or green or whatever, but pink is always cute. So I got one for me, one for her as a gift. Oh, I know what this is. This is a gift I don't want her to see. So I'm going to move that. Um, yeah, okay, so this one I'm going to open. This one is mine. Yes, this is so cute. Now, I don't tend to go towards this color. It's like a sage green, but I love it. And it says just peachy and it's oversized and look it. Isn't that, this just reminds me of retro and I love the peach on it. I love the saying. Okay, this is iron on as well. I like it better when it's digital printing and then you never have to worry about, you know, the dryer heat peeling it off or over time getting ruined. And it never says on the description. It just shows the picture. And I was hoping that these were digital print, but they're iron on and it's still okay. It'll work just fine. It's beautiful. Okay. This, I think this is my sprinkle, um, this was a sprinkle cloth, so you can throw it in your washer if you had to wash it. I'm, I bought it for a tablecloth, and it's not a tablecloth, but look at, look at how darling this is going to be as like a Valentine's tablecloth, guys. It's just, it's pink. There's a smell to it. Oof, it's going to have to go in the washer. There, sometimes you do get things and there's a smell. There's a definite smell to this. It stinks. Pew. Anyway, look at the sprinkles. 
Aren't they darling? So this size was 130 by 150 and my tablecloth, like we have a small round table here and I keep plastic over it, but my tablecloth for this table is 140 by 140. So this is off 10 centimeters each way and I'm okay with that. It's going to be so darling and just bakery sweet theme. It's going to add, because like you guys know, I'm pink pastels, gingerbread, sweet bakery, this could not be more perfect for our home. So it was not a tablecloth. It's actually like a wall background and I'm using it as a tablecloth. So yay. All right, let's continue on here. I ordered this from Timu. Um, it's pastel colored little star foam dots. And I'm thinking to use this on, I had a tree made. I'm calling it my Grinch tree. I seen it on like Facebook, so I sent um, a guy the picture and he made me something. He did not follow any of my instructions. It it looks cute, but it's so heavy. I want it the thinnest. Um, what's that board called that goes on your wall? Uh, what's it called? I, it's like my brain is freezing up. I don't know what it's called. But you know when you're building a home and you know... You, you make the frame and then you put the wood over it. It's like that real thin plywood. I want it the thinnest plywood to make the tree so that it would be real wood, easy to paint, but very lightweight. He used very thick, heavy um, fake wood. I forget what that's called too. Pl not plywood. Uh, I forget what it's called. Anyway, it's cute. It's not, it's going to be a 50,000 when I'm done with it. I'm going to paint it pastel pink and I'm going to do icing on it, fake sprinkles. I got this for the possible sprinkles, but I all I can already tell I don't want that for the sprinkles. So I'll use it for something else. Maybe for the picture frame that I showed you guys I bought at the dollar store. Oh, my rocks are open. So these here are massage rocks. You boil water in a pot and then you put them in till they heat up really nice and then you do your massage. What is on that? Anyway, and then you, you massage, you know, I want to do this for my husband. So that's what I bought it for. And then I bought myself a couple of face masks. I got one for me, one for Ellie. Crap. She's seeing all the stuff I got her for her Valentine's bag. Maybe I'll hold off till Valentine's before I post this. I think that's what I'll do. Cause I don't want to ruin the surprise. She watches the videos now. So, um, this one here is a bright skin mask. This one here is a hydrating. So I'll let her pick which one she wants. She'll probably want the apple and I probably want the grape. But if I'm wrong, she can pick what she wants. And then I bought this. I think this is the, no, this isn't the foot one. What did I buy this for? Oh, this is for your heel. So you see how it has this rubber? Say if you have dry heels, then you just turn this inside out because that's the wrong way. You put your moisturizer cream and then this sits over your heel and it's supposed to moisturize your heel and get rid of like any dry skin. So yeah, that's what I bought that for. And last thing here. Is this the donut one? I'll have to open this up on the floor. Yep, it is. I'll go open it on the floor and show you guys. Okay, guys. They, I ordered, I got to go back and check to see if they sent me the wrong size because I believe I ordered five feet by seven feet and this here is not, this is way smaller than what I thought, but how stinking darling. So this is cloth and it goes on your wall, but the reason I bought it was to put it on my barn doors, to hang it on either side and it would just hang down and you would see like the donut sign and the, what's that called? The thing that goes over the door. And then you'd see these two sides, but it's not the size that I thought I ordered, but maybe it's my mistake and I did wrong. If I did, it's okay. Um, because I ordered a pastel bakery and I, I really only need one, not two. So if that's the case, I'll return this, get my money back. And, um, but if they made a mistake and sent me the wrong size, they'll credit me and then I can give this to Ellie might want it or I wish I could send it to, to Linda because I feel like this is so like she's getting on the gingerbread train 
Like, I feel like she's starting to crave gingerbread cute decor or, like, t-shirts, stuff like that. Because she had mentioned in her video the other day that she wanted a gingerbread house now. Which I love. She needs one. Anyway, Sherry and Jacqueline, they're both on the gingerbread train now. They got gingerbread houses this Christmas. I love it. And, uh, yeah. So this is so stinking cute. And the best part is you can throw this in your washer. And then hang it to dry. But it's awesome. You can hang it. They're meant for your wall like as a backdrop. So good for photos or just like a cute piece in your home. That is stinking darling. I love it. So it's donuts. Jazzy. I don't know if you watch my videos. But if you're here girl. When I bought this I was thinking of you. Because she loves Dunkin Donuts. She loves going to get their iced coffee and stuff like that. So anyway, I just thought this was cute. I hope you guys are enjoying the haul. We have one bag to go. All right, folks, let's get into the last bag here. Cupcake just finished um, Coco's fish treat. She went looking for her own, and I had taken hers away because she left it on the couch. And uh, wow, this, this got a lot of stuff in it. Okay, let's get into this. Oh, yeah, I know what this is. I ordered these. I think they're silicone soft. Ew, they feel really weird. They feel really silicone-y. Ew, that feels so weird. <laughs> but after you like do your foot at home spa treatment, you put your best moisturizer on. Oh, they smell like baby powder. How weird. Anyway, then you put these socks on and it holds in all moisture, all lotion, and it will fix your feet as well. So just if you have if you deal with dry heels you know if you don't deal with dry heels like my mom does not have dry heels at all but you guys she also wears socks all the time i'm bare feet all the time summer fall winter doesn't matter i still wear flip-flops outside even though it's winter and we have snow and ice so that's why i have dry heels okay i'm so excited to see this i hope it's not broken <gasps> look at it. oh my gosh so you guys know, um, this year was a tribute to friends, especially because Chandler passed away. And look at, so this is wood, if you guys can hear that. And it has two hooks in the back to hang up. But I'm going to leave this up all year long. It's nice and big. Look how big that is. This is absolutely beautiful. And everybody who sees the sign knows exactly like, oh yeah, that's from friends. And it is. It's so darling. It's a 50000 I love it. I love it. And there's no cracks. It made it here safe. I'm very happy with this. This is not damaged at all. So I'm really grateful. I'll show you guys where I end up putting it. I already have two places that I'm considering. So, oh, that is, don't want you to see it. That's a present. Um, then I got another ice cube tray. I love their circle ice cubes that have the lid because you can put it in your freezer and not really have to worry about it. So I got to wash this, but look at, these are the bigger, the fatter ice cubes. And then you push this on it. So you have the lid, prevent spills. I love that. I can't wait to use this one, especially for the summer. So these ice cubes are just larger. What else do we have in here? Oh, I think this is the coffee t-shirt. Yes, it is. Okay, so my cousin Ellie got, I think she got the burgundy one, and I got the purple one. Look it. Isn't that everything? It's pastel purple. It's beautiful oversized, and it says coffee. Start the day with a good mood. Coffee. And me and her are big time coffee lovers, like coffee 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 we love it and now i'm getting into the fruit teas it has to be some type of fruit excuse me i just finished a cup of coffee so now this is for me for summer i ordered it as a beach cover my cupcake yeah so this is halter style which really compliments me the halter style but this will go so pretty over a bathing suit look at I believe it is a dress on there but I would wear this as look at tropical reminds me of vacation it's so pretty 
see that and then as you can see here halter I love that it just makes my shoulders look good I love the pastel purple and how it kind of goes ombre purple into pink the sunset it's beautiful especially with those palm leaves palm trees okay something else I bought for our home my hubby always it's not just my husband it is me also have a bad tendency of dropping our converter the remote control for the tv so i bought this and this looks kind of short i don't know if it's going to fit but if it does fit it's like a protection for the remote control so if you drop it it kind of has i hope it works but it's pastel purple it's awesome it was really cheap what is this it's a pink sweater oh my gosh you guys <gasps> I'm putting this on my keys. Look it. I, so Ellie got me a best friend. Um, short coffee, tall coffee, like best friend keychain. And I already have that on my keys, but I'm going to put this on my other set of keys. I love it. Because I always say when something is like a 50000 for a hot drink, I call it a hug and a mug. Okay. And this says coffee is like a hug and a mug. That is so true. This is darling. I absolutely, this is such, if you have somebody who enjoys a good keychain, I highly recommend it. This is like nice and thick. It's good quality. Easy to wipe down to disinfect if it needed to be, you know. Okay. Oh, this is my coffee sweatshirt. Oh, that's fabulous. Look at, it says, all you need. Oh, all you need is love and a good cup of coffee. <laughs> and then it has like a break up here with the black plaid there. And then it has black plaid up here. So it's kind of like color blocking. I love that. I love the color of pink. It's bubblegum pink and it has the kangaroo pockets and the inside is really nice and warm. So it's perfect for these wintry February cold days. Uh, even summer around like the bonfire. This is so cute. <sighs> It's everything. I absolutely love the leopard print. By the way, most people probably already knew this, but I grew up my whole life. I only found out about 10, I don't know, eight years ago that I spelled leopard wrong my whole life. I was spelling it L-E-P-A-R-D or L-E-P-O-R-D, something like that, but it's leopard, leopard. I didn't know there was an O, L-E-O-P-A-R-D. Like, really? why why do they have to put that oh i don't even know why that might not make sense to most of you all but anybody with dyslexia like me i don't know why they put words um oh that's a gift <laughs> what is this i don't know why they make words like jalapeno they call it jalapeno but they spell it with a j oh this is a gift crap i hope that didn't show oh hold on guys i'll be right back Okay, I'm trying not to show any gifts. What is, this is my coffee, oh yeah, yeah. I'm excited for this. I know it's black. I don't usually go towards black, but I love this. Even though it's black, coffee weather. And it's an oversized sweater. Just with black leggings, hair in a messy bun. Look at coffee weather, coffee weather. What? That's going to be like my new saying for me and Ellie. Coffee weather. It's a coffee date, you know. Oh my gosh. This is so nice and big and oversized. Timu has like, man, it's such an addictive site, especially if you have an addictive personality. What is this? <gasps> okay, I bought this for summer. Again, it's like very high neck and it's sleeveless, but it's like the kind of racer back. Anyway, look at peace, love, and coffee. Again, this is black, but with cute shorts, like that's everything. I love it. And I love, again, there's cheetah print. We have coffee beans, the iced coffee. Um, I'm an, I'm an iced coffee girl. I'm a hot coffee girl. Mm -hmm. Now, what is this? I wonder if that's a gift. Oh, that's a gift. This is mine, I know that, but I have no idea what that is. What the frig is it? I don't even know. Okay, now this 
if they would have had the coffee sweater in this color, I would have screamed, but they didn't. So this says the same thing. It says coffee weather, but it's bubblegum pink. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. I absolutely love it. Just with cozy leggings. I mean, that's everything. It's bubblegum pink. It's oversized. Coffee weather. Yes, please. I love that. All right, guys. This is an iron-on um, patch. Not a patch. An iron-on stencil that you can put on any t-shirt or sweater. Look it. Of course, it's gingerbread and coffee. And it says, I run on coffee and Christmas cheer. And that's a 50,000. That's a 50 freaking thousand. I love it. Now, there is a few items I couldn't show you guys because they were presents. But um, hopefully you'll get to see an opening when I gift it. So I, I was like, what the frig is this? Anyway, this is an exercise thing. Like kind of hula hoopish. You do that type of movement. It's supposed to help make your belly tighter. I don't even know if this is going to fit. Like, how do you open this? There must be instructions as to how you open it. And then they send, um, these are the spare parts, but it goes around your belly. Like, you know, this, I don't think this is going to fit. Even when this is added, I don't think it's going to fit. It's going to be too tight, I think. And then this is the string and the weighted ball right here. You got to put your weight in it. I don't know what the weight is. There's the instructions. I'll keep that. And then here's the, oh, it came with a little screwdriver and nails. Okay, that's awesome. I'll get my husband to take care of that for me. But I think that this is going to be too small when it's put together. But it might not. Maybe it'll fit me. It didn't really show a big person. It showed a skinny person with it. But it's supposed to, when you do the exercise, it's supposed to focus on, like, your stomach rolls your back rolls, your front rolls, like whatever rolls you got on your stomach. So we'll see if that is going to be able to um, work out or not. And if it doesn't, I'll just return it. That's all. But I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at how beautiful it is. I don't think that's centered. I'm going to have to move it. Yeah, because it's kind of over on the side a little bit too much. I got to center it more, but isn't that stunning? I'll show you guys where I have it. So it's like my brick. Look at it. It's right in the kitchen. See, there's my kitchen. But isn't that beautiful? What do you think? I love it. I absolutely... You're seeing my wood, um, my wooden bead chandelier. That's the reflection that you're seeing, the little stripes going down the wall. Isn't that beautiful? I love that so much. Okay, it's fabulous. Look at it. So this is the pink icing sprinkle dessert thing that I turned into a tablecloth. I didn't have to cut anything. I love it. I love it. And then I put my plastic over top. That way it's just you can wipe your tablecloth every day like I do. I have a pair of pajamas that I'm going to sell or give away. But anyway, you guys, this is stinking fabulous. I love it. Oh, it's so cute. It suits our home to a tee. Like, you could not get more me. Sweet bakery pink icing with sprinkles. It's everything. I got my sparkling water behind my chair. But yeah, you guys, that's a 50000 What do you think? And like I said, the fact that it's cloth and you can wash it brings it over the top. Nice overhang. It's perfect.